and this is Deuteronomy 32 and verse 20 and he said I will hide my face from them I will see what their end shall be for they are a very froward generation children in whom is no faith Dovlon is to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to our brothers on down, teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to the four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. It's a bit quiet here in a moment. I thought I'd try and do another quick lesson. I've called it, I will hide my face from them. Just got inspired listening to a, a video from one of the brothers I thought with all what's happening it's obviously it's obvious that the face of the most high his way is hidden from so many people especially of us who know that we are Hebrew Israelites I thought I'd just reflect on that in this lesson his face is surely hidden from them let's just get straight into the scriptures here wisdom of Solomon 7 verse 26 for she she being wisdom she is the brightness of the everlasting light the unspotted mirror of the power of the heavenly father and the image of his goodness what a powerful verse i heard the brother mention this i thought i'd just dig it out find it and read it myself let's go from 25 let's go again wisdom of solomon 7 Verse 25, for she is a breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. For she, meaning wisdom, is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Heavenly Father and the image of his goodness. What a thought. That is the unspotted mirror. Sometimes the words here just fill you up with all manner of... You feel like you're, like you're eating a, a nice meal when you read these words. You see what's happening around you and it's clear the division that is taking place. The scripture says, it's in the house of David is where the division is going to start. This is where judgment is going to begin. Where's the man who rides on his face? That's what we're speaking about. Let's jump to Isaiah 45 and verse 15. Verily thou art a power that hidest thyself, O power of Israel, the Saviour. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go into confusion together that are makers of idols. Verse 17, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. See, Israel is a world within itself. The scripture is telling us, we, we who? As the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that's who we are. And our power, his name is Yahawa. His only begotten son is Yahawa Shai. Just somebody going past with some loud music there. See, the faith is lacking in a lot of our people. But we realize that this is a gift. Let's read it. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Heavenly Father. Not of works, lest any man should boast. But we come in all humility. Let's get Micah. Just going to go through as quick as I can here. Micah 3, let's start at 1. And I said, here, I pray you. O heads of Jacob, and ye princes, oh, we've got a friendly mosquito here, let's see if I can, no. No. didn't win that battle, and I said, here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, so this is aimed at the so-called leaders, 
and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Who hate the good and love the evil? Who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones? Who also eat the flesh of my people? and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them up in pieces as for the pot, and as flesh within the cauldron, then shall they cry unto the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, but he will not hear them, he will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry peace. And he that putteth not into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. So those people in leadership positions, I've done in a few of my recent lessons, speaking on these people, they have been interviewed there on various platforms looking for fame and fortune and money. As we say here, a big up their self. Look at me. They've got it coming because they've joined themselves unto the oppressor. Let's look at what happens when you, the face of the Most High is turned from you. Genesis 4 and 14, we know the story well. I often refer to this. The Spirit has me keep going back to this. Cain was being, he had just murdered his brother. <clears throat> And so he was getting his punishment. He said it's more than he can bear. Genesis 4 and 14. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day. This is Cain responding to the punishment. Thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me you see so he understands the the magnitude of the punishment that was meted out to him that the most high's face is permanently turned away from him and so that when he's finally revealed and is happening in our time as it says in second thessalonians uh, 2 or the first dozen verses or so He's been revealed who he is, and so he's left bare right now. And unbelievably, our people are choosing a time like now to join themselves unto a man whose face, the Most High, has hid himself, his way, his truth from that man. And our people are choosing now to join. You see, just to show that we all come back in our lot. What a time to choose to join yourself unto this man. Where were we going to go next? Looks like we missed out a couple of scriptures here. Let's get them back. Ezekiel. Yes, Ezekiel. 39. And let's start at 23. 39 and 23. Where are you? Yes, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trans trespass against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. See, these people, you grow up with them, they've got it written up in their books that it's because they're so, their IQ, they're so intelligent, and you're so dumb. See, you're like, you're, you're some sort of a, animal you're not a full human being so that's why you're in the condition you're in but they're so uh, uh, clever that's why the position that they're in not realizing that we was going to wake up at some stage and find out the truth this is telling us that it's because of our transgression why we're in the position we're in according their to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have i done unto them and hid my face from them that is the ways of our power therefore thus said our power now will i bring again let's turn it around the captivity of jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of israel and will be jealous for my holy name after that they have borne their shame and all their trespasses 
whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safety in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands and I'm sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. It's happening right now. It's ha happened before, but it's happening again. And this is the last heathen empire, the last heathen queendom under this so-called white man, the Edomite. This a leprous man, the Most High's face is hid from him as it was of their progenitor, Cain, the serpent man. Then shall they know, this is verse 28 of Ezekiel 39, <clears throat> then shall they know that I am Yahweh, their power, the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them into their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I <clears throat> Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord God, Yahweh power. Isaiah 54, 7 and 8. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. That's what our Savior, that's what his name means. Redeem means to buy back. See? I'm just going to have a quick look here. Genesis. We often refer to Genesis 25. Let's read from 22 to 26. And the children struggled together. These are the twins. Let's just keep reading. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Who came out first? That was Esau. And when her days to be fulfilled, to be delivered, were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came out his brother, <clears throat> his brother and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, symbolizing him, removing him from power, and that's just about to happen any time now. And his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. What we're looking at here is the, the progenitor of these people. What people? It's the Edomite, the white man, as they want you to call them. No such people in the scriptures. Let's just jump to Verse 30, and Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. I, I just noted here, I keep reading this, we read it all the time, but it's only after he was asking for this, his request for this uncooked meat, this pottage, that his name was then referred to as Edom, meaning red. You see, and that was important. I thought, just looking at that. So, where are we going to go next? Hebrews. I thought I marked Hebrews, but where is that going? Bear with me a moment. Hebrews 12, 16 and 17. This is the man that all these so-called leaders who know who they are, They've joined themselves to this man, Hebrews 12, 16, 17. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Remember who that is, sister. Edomite, the white man in the scriptures. We know who you are. We're not going to stop saying it. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have re inherited the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. See, that's what you've done. You've joined yourself onto the losing team. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, oops, Jeremiah 13, that should be. Jeremiah 13 and... 
Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. See, this Edomite, he can't change what he's doing. He is stuck with his role in the movie. He's got to perform a wicked act after wicked act. We're next, Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked. That's Malachi 1 and 4 telling you exactly who that is. It's the Edomite, that white man. He's the wicked. The Most High hates him. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. It's over in our land in Israel doing all kind of wickedness, claiming to be us, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord, whose name is Yahweh. Let's get to Psalms quickly here. Psalms uh, 1, Psalms 143 and uh, 7. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. That's where this man is going. See? Straight down into that pit of darkness. Never to return after a thousand years of slavery. I just thought I'd quickly get on here and do a, a quick lesson, but I don't want to drag it on too much. So let's let's just end it there. You've been listening to I will hide my face from them. Shalom until the next one.